May 4, 2021 Daily Devotional Judges 13, 8 Then Manoah prayed to the Lord and said, O Lord, please let the man of God whom you sent come again to us and teach us what are we to do with the child who will be born. Who Needs Instructions by Sandra Chua Back in 1996, when mainframes were the fashion and family computers were still a novelty and not a necessity, my father shipped home from the US a Radio Shack desktop computer to my delight. I remember the excitement and enthusiasm I had reading the manual from cover to cover. I coded my first line of a program at the prompt of the green flashing cursor and held my breath to see what would happen. My heart jumped up and down as the computer promptly displayed my first print command. Hello! Eventually, it performed a lot of mundane and tedious scientific computations from my father's blower aerodynamics. Fast forward to the Android era. I remember changing cell phones and tossing out a box, manual and all. I would fumble with the gadget as it claimed to be user-friendly and would be able to make it work with little effort. At times, I would come across a few glitches and I would blame the phone's design. There were also times when I would accidentally discover new tricks to make phone tasks easier. I know I would have avoided these things had I gone through the manual before using the gadget. Today's reading presents to us the beginning of Samson's story. An angel offers the good news to a barren couple that they will soon have a son and that they should dedicate him to the Lord as a Nazarite. The Bible has a few passages regarding Nazarites in Numbers 6 and Amos 2. Manoah, Samson's father, must have been unfamiliar with it too, such that he prayed and asked the Lord for further instructions. I am happy that the Lord listened to Manoah. In verses 12 to 14, Manoah is able to ask and receive further instructions for his promised son. This account confirms for us God's promise in James 1.5. If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. As Christians, we should not be afraid to do the same. We can ask and should ask God to give us wisdom. This wisdom from God is openly available to us through the scriptures. God's manual for our lives. With it, we can avoid a lot of pitfalls and life's surprises, just like the glitches that I blamed on my android. With God's words, we can live a fuller life, just like how I made the most out of my prehistoric desktop. Reflection How reliable is my source of wisdom? How have I treated the manual of life that God had provided for me? Have I thrown the manual out to gather dust, or have I tried to glean as much as I can and savour each morsel? Prayer Lord, all wisdom comes from you. You promise to generously give to all who ask without finding fault. Grant us the desire for this wisdom and help us humbly ask that we might receive. In Jesus' name, Amen.